Hey guys, Dr. Malcolm here, board certified gastroenterologist and internist here to serve all your digestive needs and gastrointestinal issues. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about PPIs again. Are these medicines safe to take over the long term? I get this question a lot from patients and family members, and it's in the news a lot. All that and more after this. Hey guys, Dr. Malcolm here. I'm so excited that you're here today. We're going to talk about a really timely topic. Are proton pump inhibitors safe to take in the long term and over your whole life for your reflux symptoms? The short answer is yes, they are safe. We have to remember that these medications are the second most prescribed medications on the planet. Millions and millions of people have taken these medications for over 20 years. In the last few years, there's been a big focus in our field to learn more about the chronic risks of these medications. So what are the chronic risks of these medications? Number one, infection. There's been an increased report of pneumonia and C. diff or Clostridium difficile infections with these medications, but very slight. Number two, you can get malabsorption of vitamins and minerals. So this would be B12 or magnesium or decreased calcium absorption that could lead to osteoporosis in postmenopausal women or decreased iron absorption. Thirdly, these medications over time have a slight increase in kidney disease. The next category of risk would be dementia. This has been reported in a few small studies. A lot of people in our field think that this needs to be investigated more. And lastly, sometimes the PPIs or antacids in general interfere with the absorption of other medications that need acid to be absorbed. Ultimately, these medications are safe to take. Right now, there's just a heightened focus on these chronic risks. You have to talk about these risks to your doctor and apply these principles to your own health. A lot of my patients have too severe of symptoms to come off of these medications, and they have to accept these risks over the long term. I'm so excited that you joined me on today's video. I hope that you learned something. And just remember, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to inform you. In next week's episode, we're going to switch gears entirely. We're going to talk about constipation. So I hope that you join us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to today's video so that you can watch more of these videos and learn all about your symptoms and your digestive health. Just remember that today's video is not a substitute for a doctor's office visit. All medications have side effects, so don't forget to read package inserts and talk with your local gastroenterologist. And until next time, I hope you feel better. Thank you.